Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Baron Hall, the Arcade Doctor, and today we are going to perform some surgery on a pinball machine. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa, hey, you got to hit the subscribe button right now. Yeah, do it. Okay, here, my little patient. What seems to be the trouble? Uh, are you feeling any uh, fevers, chills? No? Left flipper is working well? Right flip. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Right flipper. Seems a little weak. Not working real well. Okay. Well, let's see if we can fix it. First, shut it off. Okay. Star Wars, you're too loud. Let me shut you down. Okay, so to open this bad boy up, we are going to put our key in here. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, looky. Look at the innards of this pinball machine. There's a lot of crap in there. <laughs> a lot of body parts. Okay, so there's a little switch right here. I'm gonna yank that, this thing, pull that down. And by doing that, this will come up. Okay. Now, I don't have my tripod, so I'm gonna have to set this camera down for a minute. But this glass slides all the way off. Okay, we're gonna stop for a sec. And then when you have your glass pulled off of there, just kind of grab it from here and pull up. Look at that. Look. Looky there. Look at all that gadgetry on the inside of a pinball machine. Now, if you ever go to eBay or wherever and you try to buy a pinball machine, this is why they cost an arm and a leg. Because they kind of have like an arm and a leg in them. Or, you know, like a million arms and legs. Look at all that. Jeez. So the flipper mechanism that we have is right up in here. I'm not exactly sure. I've messed around with this thing a million times. Can't seem to figure out exactly what's wrong with it. So I ordered a flipper rebuild kit from a pinball resource. They gave me a couple free flippers too. You know, why not? That was nice of them. We got some extra coils here too that we ordered. And we have our trusty handy dandy manual. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never done this before. I'm gonna set the camera down and just kind of watch through this entire process. Hopefully I can get it working. Let's go. All right, forgive me for uh, completely skipping a bunch of that, but I figure it's probably boring. What I did was uh, completely replaced the switch assembly right here, the plunger assembly right here as well. Uh, it's the exact same flipper that we had before. If you look up here, yeah, same one. And I kept the same coil on here, so I have no idea if that'll work. I did not solder these joints right here because I don't have the correct solder here at the office. I need to get some. Uh, so for now, we're just going to see if it works. Let's go. The moment of truth. Here we go. Left flipper works. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! It works! It works! Yeah! Yes! Give me the power! Power with the right flipper. Yes. Come on. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Okay. So we got it working now. We're good. We're good. I just need to come back another day and redo the solder on those joints. But that should be pretty easy. Another no reason to to put that on the video here. So if you like what you saw, if you like the uh, inside of a pinball machine, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stick around for other videos. Uh, one thing you might notice, without the glass being on here, you can kind of cheat, maybe, you know, put the ball wherever you want it to go. <laughs> no, I didn't do that for the high score though, don't worry. Uh, but it's also a lot louder. The, uh, the glass makes a lot of that sound go away, but uh, you know, when you take that glass off, man, woo, it's loud. Cool, right on. Thanks guys for watching. Stick around for other videos, woo.